Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Joe Petroniak. I'm a CPA CGA. And as previously mentioned, I am the Sage Intact Practice Co-Lead. And today we will be looking at Sage Intact for SaaS companies and how, how we could help you. Sage Intact has worked with hundreds of, of businesses like yours and have learned the critical success factors for achieving a scalable subscription-based based business. One, step one is to integrate, quote, the cash. It's common for companies that we work with that integrate that, that we work with that integrate Salesforce with Sage Intact to decrease processing time of quote to cash by 30%. Step two is to establish flexible contract based billing. Coupled with an integrated QTC, companies are able to adapt their pricing to competitive and market dynamics. Step three is to automate end to end revenue management around the customer lifecycle. Automating revenue recognition, along with other accounting tasks, commonly allows our customer to reduce the time to close the books by 50%. Step four is to create real-time SaaS and, and general accepted accounting practice uh, da uh, dashboards. With more timely, accurate information, companies can make better decisions to affect the growth or stability of their companies, such as pr product investments, hiring, acquisitions, and reduced churn. Step five is to forecast future revenues, cash, and expenses to anticipate where the business is going and put the strategies in place to grow revenue per transaction. Step one, integrate for one quote to cash system. With Sage Intact, we're providing one system of record across the customer's life cycle. The contract managers, the subscriptions and services you sell all in one place. Solu the solution connects the process from sales conversion to billing to lifecycle changes and renewals to revenue recognition to general ledger entries all the way into real-time forecasting gap and SaaS metrics and into your budgeting and planning processes we're also connecting your teams across sales sales ops finance and customer success by giving them visibility into the customer health in their system of record to drive a better customer customer experience as you grow and add more customers sage intact will do the heavy lifting for you so you can scale without adding headcount and finance this has saved our customers hundreds of hours per month it eliminates bottlenecks in billing to improve your qtc cycle time speed speeding cash flow that can be invested into your business to drive growth the single source of truth across the entire customer life cycle coupled with the ability to slice and dice your data with robust reporting tools provides you with real-time gap reporting and SaaS metrics whether it's the management meeting the board or investors you create your reports and dashboards once and then just run the reports or click the dashboard now you'll have time to analyze the data before the meeting instead of spending all the time just getting to the reports. You have flexibility to dynamically support a variety of pricing mechanisms. You can continuously adapt to subscri subscriber demands, competitive forces, and market disruptions. And when you can meet customer demands and invest in your business, you're better positioned for growth. Sage Intact offers flexibility and automation in your pricing and billing so that you can iterate and innovate your business models without sacrificing scale. Many of your customers have a blend of models and Sage Intact supports that complexity. Sage Intact will allow you to cover 300 frictionless billing scenarios. During series A, series B, start with something simple on the left. And as you expand and put much more complex scenarios, like all the different types of usage billing and different types of ratings that you need to handle. You have fixed price or perhaps a perpetual part of your model or something else. If you're more complex and sales and sales assisted with professional service services, handle, handle the services and do all this with contract management or, sit or, or handle all those changes. And then invoice scheduling in order to do what you need to do to take DSO down and cash flow up. So there are over 300 scenarios that can be used. Stage Intact was built from the ground up to handle IFRS 15 ASC 606 
All the calculations are automated from the basics of allocating revenue and expenses, including commissions, to the right timeframes, to the complexities of multi-element arrangements and forecasting. You can easily identify your contract assets and liabilities directly from the system without resorting to Excel and integrate it to the GL. Sage Intact also delivers real-time SaaS metrics and provides it to you on a dashboard. Let's talk about two key metrics that they think that our clients think are important, churn and cost of acquisition. Churn is one of the biggest factors on valuation. Our solution allows you to track the original sale, upsells, downsells, and renewals, both in revenue and in customer count, giving you a clear and detailed view into customer churn. The CAC, or client acquisition cost, tells you how much it costs you to win a new client. Because we are a multi-dimensional general ledger, we allow you to track expenses such as marketing and you can post whatever, what event, campaign, or channel the expenses came from so that you can see your CAC. There are many other metrics that you can track. The key point is because we have the financial transaction and you can report on it to make data-driven decisions. With everything derived from the contract master, you can see forecasts for billing, cash, and revenue for the future at the press of a button. It's easy to see forecasts for billing, payments, and revenue from the original sale, as well as upsells, downsells, and renewals. Without manual reconciliation or spreadsheets, you can predict the future. Now you can feel confident about making the decisions for the future. So let's dive into Sage Intact and show you how Sage Intact can help your SaaS company. So I've logged into a into my SaaS demo site, and as we can see on on our dashboard, we do have our all our SaaS metrics. We have our uh, our CMRR per customer, our total, our annualized CMRR, your and new CMMR. We 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 could look at our customer churn, show these up as as KPI right on your dashboard. We could also keep track of how many new customers we acquired during during a, a particular time frame and compare them all. We could look at our our customer acquisition costs in in a in a chart. We could look at our trend rate, our churn rate. We could look at our monthly uh, revenue recognition or continuous monthly, monthly re revenue recognition as well and our and our customer counts all, all supporting this with within this agent with within the environment we could do that at any entity that we are that we are that we are holding into we could also write on the dashboard flip to that particular entity and just see that particular entity's results as opposed to the whole organized or as opposed to the organization organization as a whole all at a quick click of a button. I will slide into my US company here where, where most of my contracts are, are held and we will examine a contract and how, how that contract looks on the system. So contracts, we'll look at our contracts. So here's a list of our contracts and I am going to look for some samples that we could show you. So let's look at this very first one, this annual billing uh, billed annually. Let's have a look at this at, at this particular contract and see what the components are. Right along the top, we have our header. So we have some contract information, a uh, contract name, maybe it's a, a particular contract type. So we, now we, we could actually use that this this field to group our contracts into pack in, 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 in this in this particular example, package A, B, and C and D. We could have a description. We know who we're billing it to, who the customer is, who the bill to, and the ship to information on the system as well. We key in a start date, an end date, and what is our billing frequency, as, long as, as, as well as our payment terms. If there are any attachments, we could definitely add those attachments into the uh, onto this contract as well. So if you have a signed document and you want to attach it to this, you could definitely attach this to, to there as well. And then, of course, we label our dimensions as well as our currency. The system does allow us to, to handle the contracts in any currency within the system and and, this, and, and will calculate all your, uh, all your fine FX uh, translations. Down below, we get into our contract line. So this is the, this is the meat, of, of, the meat of, the, of the contract itself. We enter in the items.
again, we could have we start to start a line start date. It can't be sooner than the contract start date, and we have an end date as well. Uh, when does that con when does that line end uh, on that contract? And do we new re are we renewing this contract? And what type of change it is? We also set our billing, which is this one is fixed fee, and we're using a billing template where we're billing this on, on an annual basis, and we're calculating one license at 38.934 for, for, for a one-year period. Uh, we could also see this, our billing schedule right on our system. So we're going to be billing this on, on, the, on the 19th, on the, on the 1st of January. Also on revenue, same thing. Uh, this, with with the multi-book environment that is available within Sage Intact, we could track both 606 uh, reporting standards and during time of conversion, uh, we were able, also able to track 605 uh, um, uh, revenue recognition as well because there there has been a change between uh, the two revenue recognition standards. We could actually we could actually track track them both in the system and report on on both simultaneously. Now that the rules have been adopted and the standards have been adopted and they're in full force, we only, only need to look, uh, report on one. But in this example, we're reporting on both of them. So we could actually even view the schedule. So we're looking at the 606 is based on a daily schedule. So we view this schedule. We're going to be posting that that revenue based on, on a daily schedule, number, number of days in that contract. So as you can see, this, this value will fluctuate from one month to another month. On the 605, it's more of a. It was they were able. It was able to do a straight line method. However, uh, now what we can also do within the system on in our system, we could also straight line that revenue so that it is consistent throughout the month, regardless of how many number of days in the month. So we can do that as well. It'll prorate the um, any partial months that that are required within the system as well. And then we could add other lines as well. If you need to track expenses towards this particular contract or this particular line, say it's, say it's commissions with the new uh, reporting standards, we have to we we can't just expense that out on our on our financials uh, right when they were pay, pay paid out. We have to uh, amortize those those commission costs across uh, over the life of the contract as well. So our so our system is able to to accommodate that that process as well. On the next tab, we could look at our renewals. We could also look at our journal balances. So this this is what will tell you where how much how much deferred revenue we have set up, uh, how much has been unbilled, how much has been billed, how much how many how much has been paid on each of the lines, and same with on the expenses. We 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 will be able to see that as well. We have a complete transaction history of that contract, all the transactions that have occurred within that. Uh, during this that time frame, sorry, and and how how they've been created. So on on creation, we've we've uh, we had a, we had revenue. It was deferred revenue, and it was unbilled. And then when when we bill it, it was it moved from unbilled to billed. When it was paid, it moved from from billed to paid. We also have a look. We could also see our our billing transaction history. How did we bill it? What uh, what we built? How much did we bill? If we are lo looking at uh, multi-element arrangements, where you have you might have your su your subscription and a um, or or you're doing a bulking or, or or bundling of packages, we could also set up multi-element arrangements. This is a little bit more complicated uh, to do. You do have to keep track of. Uh, of a quote unquote fair value of, of those particular items in order to, to calculate the diff, the, uh, the percentages that's, that's being allocated for revenue for each of those. The system also allows us to track compliance information for, for, um, for audit purposes. So we, we could identify the, the contract uh, and identify the performance obligations. Uh, the transaction price is determined, the contract values are completed, the revenue method and timing is established, and then the contract is being accepted. And we could def and we could also ha uh, sign off on, on those appropriately as well. And then add any notes to that contract as well. And we also ha could track our monthly revenue recognition in the system as well. If it's new MRR, add-on MRR, uh, so there's the new MRR. We have a customer count going up. We have new, uh, on line two, we have 
250 new MRR and so on down the line so we could see what uh, what those what that uh, st what that statistical is information is, uh, available to us as well when we set up our our sorry when we do set up our revenue recognition we have different ways of setting up our revenue recognition so we we could track it revenue based on a daily basis we could track uh, revenue based on a straight line or we could break break it our quarterly one for one year or so on with the with the other features in here percentage complete this is for revenue recognition for for projects and so on so if you had a had a project that you were associated with it maybe had your subscription and then you had a project for implementation you record that uh, that project revenue a little bit differently than your subscription project so this uh, the system allows us to do this as well we also have the ability to to uh, recognize revenue based on quantity so if you are if you are scheduling um, or also including your training sessions and you're maybe including five training sessions for that and at a certain price you could you could definitely uh, recognize the revenue once those training sessions have been held on the reporting side once again as I, as I mentioned before we do have our dashboards we do have our our SAS metrics dashboards as well we also have other other dashboards as well so uh, this one here for this executives. Um, let's just go change some dates here. And we're gonna change, go to our US company, click on apply. And now, now we're gonna be able to see the different information. So there's our, our monthly uh, revenue recognition schedule, schedules uh, that we have, how that's made up, and we, we can see a pattern of that. We could also see our growth rate, our growth rate type, in the system so that these are all all available we could also drill down further into these so if we open this up now we see this report in full and now we can drill down to that particular to that particular line and then so there's the total and then we could also drill down to any any value in here to find out how how that trend how those transactions are how that transaction came in if there's any attachments, we could definitely see those attachments as well. So overall, the the Sage Intact contract management model uh, module allows us to track all all your contract needs, all your subscription needs that that you will need, including any 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 billing cycle, any any type of revenue recognition, the system will be able to handle you. So you could actually report to your board as, as sooner as opposed to trying to generate all these all these independently. <laughs>